Good morning, everybody. Please rise for the presentation of the colors. For the Pledge of Allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now may I present the National Anthem, Deputy Anthony Dukes. standing for the benediction present PBSO chaplain Omar Palmer shall we pray our father who transcends human thoughts yet solicits human interaction 
we approach your awful throne with humility and hope. Today we acknowledge our inadequacies and invoke your insurmountable presence at this inauguration of Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. As the citizens of this great county entrust their safety and well-being into the hands of our Sheriff, we ask that you embrace him with your hands and embody him with all that is necessary for him to duly execute his job faithfully and effectively. Give him the mind to be mindful of the monumental responsibilities set before him once more. Give him eyes like an eagle and the sway of a swan as he interacts with the citizens. Give him the mouth of a lion but the meekness of a lamb as he instructs his subjects. Give him the longevity of a turtle with the hope of a sparrow as he invests his time with his family. May he be to this department the best and most steady hand at the machinery of justice. May he find favor as the longest serving sheriff for PBSO. Lord, we ask today that you continue to use the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office to create even more positive change for our community. And may Rick Bradshaw be the sheriff to lead us safely on the path to an healing service and protection. Finally, we ask that you will bless him with your constant presence, guide him by your divine light, and shield him through your eternal grace. We pray in your mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. Good morning, everybody. My name is Major Ron Bettino, and on behalf of the over 4,000 members of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and the 1.3 million citizens of Palm Beach County, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the inauguration and the swearing-in ceremony for the fifth time of Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Yes. You know, I was honored when Sheriff Bradshaw asked me to emcee the ceremony, but as always, I got my marching orders. Keep it short, Ron. Keep it short. I know the members of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and the county share my excitement to have your leadership and vision for guiding our agency, Sheriff, for another four years. In the 16 years Sheriff Bradshaw has been the Sheriff, he has improved our agency in many ways. Too numerous to mention because we'd be here for an hour, but I did pick out some of the highlights in his 16 years. For the employees, he's improved all of our equipment. For us old timers here, we didn't even have computers in a car before he took office. We had something called a digi. The young guys won't know what that is. Uh, basically a big keyboard with a screen about four inches tall and it really didn't do too much and we had to share them. But he brought us laptops. He improved all of our vehicles. He improved our boats, our aircrafts, and most importantly, our information technology. He enhanced our training to include tactical pause. And since that inception, our officer-involved shootings have dramatically reduced. He's reduced our, re, reformed our use of force policy uh, to keep current with national trends. Uh, more specifically, the banning of chokeholds uh, and keeping trends with what's going on in our country. After the shooting down south, he invented the Behavior Services Unit, which goes out and takes care of our mentally ill and keeps them from doing what happened down there. Some of the bigger things that I like, he's reinvested millions of dollars that we've seized from criminals and put that back into the county. The last four years, he's reduced crime 25%. And more recently, and still going, he's guided us through the COVID pandemic. In addition to protecting the citizens of Palm Beach County, Sheriff Bradshaw is also a member and chairs several task forces to include the Southeast Regional Domestic Security Task Force, the Florida Sheriff's Task Force, the FBI's Joint Terrorist Task Force, just to name a few. One of my hobbies is I like to I read leadership books, and as you guys know when I do these, I always try to find a quote. Well, there's many that apply to the Sheriff, but I actually did come, along, come across one that I thought hit the nail on the head with you, Sheriff, and it's by Theodore Roosevelt. The best executive is the one who has sense enough to pick good people to do what he wants done and self-restrained enough to keep from meddling with them while they do it. Sheriff, you've certainly done that. It is clear why the citizens of Palm Beach County has cho chose you for a fifth term. And on a personal note, I want to thank you for your leadership, your mentorship, but most importantly,
All right, let's make this official. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will. I will. Support, protect, and defend. Support, defect, protect, and defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. And government of the United States. The government of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. To hold office. To hold office. Under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will. Will. I will well and faithfully well and faithfully perform the duties perform the duties of sheriff of Palm Beach County of sheriff of Palm Beach County on which I am now about to enter on which I am now about to enter so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you. sheriff Bradshaw Don't panic, I'm not going to talk a long time, <laughs> even though it's a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for helping me uh, get to this next term. It wasn't an easy one. We had to do two elections, which was unusual for us, but we made it. But everything that you heard the major talking about, I wish I could say it's a result of me. I mean, even though I might have an idea, it doesn't get done unless the men and women of this organization make it happen. And even though I'd like to think that because we got 65% of the vote, which is, that, that's historic, folks, when you're talking head-to-head -head elections at, at a general election. And I would like to think it's about me. But I know the truth. The truth is, it's about the level of commitment, the level of service that the men and women of this organization give to this community. They're showing their appreciation, but that's 65% for what you do. And it's every civilian, every deputy on the road, every deputy in the jail, the volunteers, everybody. That 65% is saying thank you for that extra effort. And you proved it even more during this COVID. What you've done in the neighborhoods, making sure people get those tests done, making sure they get the injections, making sure they got food on their table, they're not going to forget that. And they didn't forget it. And that's why we're back for another four years. And let me just touch on that just for a second. Because I know, I hear the rumors, oh, he's only going to stay two years. No, folks. I'm here for the whole time. And for those who think I may not run again, I don't know. I won't know that until two years into this. But you can be one, sure to one thing, that decision is not be made. So don't think I'm just going to be hobbling around as some lame duck. We got a lot of stuff to do. Big projects. And are all at the same time. This body cam project is huge. And it's going to happen. We need to expand that mental health unit double its size. I mean, you saw what happened in Martin County. It's the same thing. We cross it all the time. The deputies out here on the road know it. We're the biggest mental health provider in this county. That's wrong. It's got to change. And the way to do it is keep expanding this unit so we can deal with it. And then we got to make sure that this pandemic stops. And one of the ways that you can do it, and that's why I made that video the other day, you got to make the commitment to get this vaccine. Please do it. I know there's a lot of things out there on the internet that say it's bad, it's this, you can get sick. It's nothing, folks. I took it, the executive staff people have taken it, other deputies have taken it. It's a walk in the park, but it's going to save your life and it's going to get us out of this mess. So thank you again for being here. I'm excited about the next four years. And I can tell you right now, the community is absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely thrilled that we'll be back and lead this county, and in a lot of ways, lead this nation 
into a better life. So thank you again for being here. I appreciate your support. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you very much, everybody.